Let's go down to Rome's. So the 2024 NFL schedule is out, and it's fun to go through. That's a win. That's a loss. That's a win, whatever. But also the revenge game narratives. That's right. So it's not even so much revenge. Like it's it's a loose term. It's like, hey, this guy used to play here, and now we're playing him. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, yes, Kurt Cousins going to the Falcons and Daniel Hunter going to the Houston Texans. Of course, magically, both of them are just just happen to be on the Viking schedule uh, because of the rotation. Also, there's some other ones. So the Vikings uh, picking up Aaron a- Jones coming up from the Greasy Grime Green Bay Packers. Packers fans not really too happy about that. Because Aaron Jones, even though uh, even despite his age, still has plenty left in the tank, as well as so, some underlying ones. Of course, the the, the the Vikings and the Jets have a long-standing rivalry, the dumbest rivalry in sports history. Uh, of course, Mike Pettin used to be DC uh, with the Jets uh, under Rex Ryan, and also oh oh yeah, they, they had a backup quarterback named uh, Kevin O'Connell, who KOC got cut in pretty brutal fashion on hard knocks by Mike Tannenbaum, but is what it is. But uh, again, th- this is a loose list. Uh, of revenge games uh, on the Vikings schedule uh, for specific players uh, on both sides. Now, we probably missed a few. It happens. It happens. Uh, actually, I- I'm pretty sure I missed someone with the Jets, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. But uh, with the Giants, so isn't really a lot of player crossover, but do have 41 Donut, do have the wild game debacle. Uh, and also, you would think that the Giants will want to whoop the Vikings' ass for the Vikings and Don Shell's defense just handing them uh, a, a playoff game, and then they had to extend Daniel Jones. I mean, come on. The Niners. So the Niners have revenge from last year on their mind, as well as Josh Dobbs, the passionate. Ba- basically, he he and Sam Darnold uh, swappy swapped, essentially a trade. Uh, the Texans, of course, beyond Daniel Hunter, you got Stephon Diggs. You have Case Keenum. Hey, you forgot Keenum was a backup in Houston. It's great, man. So, uh, ideally, no Minneapolis Miracle connection at the end of this one, as they both return to the the friendly confines of U.S. Bank Stadium. But that uh, for the Vikings, John Grenard, longtime Texan, uh, you played his rookie deal there. <coughs> As I cough and die, uh, 12 and a half sacks last year. Blake Cashman outside. How about that? Uh, really rose up and became uh, a, a plus inside linebacker. Uh, Shaq Griffin was on the Texans for a hot second. Uh, Kama Gruja Hill uh, r- really stepped up and was uh, fantastic as a special teamer, as well as uh, a spot starter for the Texans at middle linebacker. And of course, they got the Packers, the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers. Uh, Aaron a- Jones is going to be uh, stealing the spotlight in this one, but also if Robert Tanyan. Makes the roster. Uh, Robert Tanyan's on here 17 times because he was on. He, he's now been on every single NFC North team, which is funny, man. Uh, also in the Packers, Eric Wilson. Uh, Eric Wilson has been playing some good special teams uh, for the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers, unfortunately. Former uh, Cincinnati Bearcat, a former Northwestern Wildcat, Wildcat as well. And uh, Wilson had a, a really heads up play where was it, was it a punt return? I want to say that got fumbled, and he was Johnny on the spot, you know, chasing the ball, recovering uh, against the Niners in the playoffs. Good, good on him. Uh, the Jets over in London. Dun, 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 dun. So, a-, a Ron Rogers, of course, we we, we know him. We, we are aware of him. Uh, but also, like we said, Kevin O'Connell, Mike Pettin, uh, slinging Sam Darnold, of course, was the number three overall pick by the Jets back in the day, 2018. Uh, Josh McCown uh, was a backup. Well, I feel like Josh McCown has been a backup for like 17,000 teams, so we only listed him once. <laughs> So I'm sure we missed it. I, I'm pretty sure McCown was on the Bears. Yeah. Uh, but also, Feeney, 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 Dan Feeney, interior offensive lineman, was on the Jets, as well as Blake Cashman. Uh, that was his original team, OG, uh, coming out of University of Minnesota before uh, inking up with the Texans. The Lions, Marcus Davenport. That's right. So, Marcus Davenport, he of $13 million bucks for limited production, uh, takes his talents to Detroit. Uh, and, and just watch. Like, Marcus Davenport is going to have a seven-sack game uh, against the Vikings. It's great. Awesome. Uh, also, Hawkinson and Robert Tanyan. <laughs> yeah, Hawkinson came over via train in 2022. Tanya, of course, has been on every single team. The Rams, Kevin O'Connell versus Sean McVay, the, the teacher versus the pupil. Bring it on. Cam Akers, if he's back. Hmm. Also, Johnny Munt and Jonah Williams in there, too. The Colts, so Vikings assistant to the regional general manager, uh, Ryan Grigson. Uh, Quasi's assistant and, and uh, consigliere is former GM of the Colts. And, and you'll remember Ryan Grigson as the guy who basically ruined Andrew Luck as well as the guy who started Deflategate. Other than that. Uh, Jaguars, so Ezra Cleveland, who was traded last year uh, to make way for Dalton Reisner, revenge game, uh, as well as uh, Shaq Griffin. Shaq Griffin's been everywhere, man. Titans, I did find any with the Titans. I, I guess maybe Will Levis, like, you shouldn't... Maybe the Vikings should have drafted Levis at 23. 
pretty happy with Addison. Mm. Uh, the Bears, uh, Tanyan and Feeney. Uh, the Cardinals, Diamond Dan Jacena. He's on the rooster. That's right, former special team standout from Penn State. He's fast. Uh, he'll miss tackles, but he's really fast missing tackles. As well as Kyrus Tonga, our guy. Come on, man. Uh, Falcons, of course, Kurt Cousins, as well as uh, Brandon Powell on the other side. Remember, Powell, formerly of the Falcons, uh, Kevin O'Connell brought him aboard. They, they had uh, history back with the Rams, as well as uh, – actually, wait, hold on. As well as he caught a big-time touchdown pass uh, in Atlanta against the Falcons last year in the in the Josh Dobbs game. It was great. Uh, Bears, like we said, Seahawks, Shaq Griffin. Shaq Griffin coming out of Central Florida uh, with his brother Shaquem. Fantastic story. Uh, and Griffin became a pro bowler. He was – absolutely damn legit uh at left corner for the seahawks uh back in the day so uh hopefully he, hopefully shaq griffin can get back to where he was with the seahawks hmm. uh packers wilson jones tanyan and then uh lions again uh davenport hawkinson tanyan so uh, again tanyan's everywhere man and like i said i'm sure we missed seventeen thousand of these josh mccown was on 17 million teams but also who cares but i mean it's fun. It's going to be a lot of fun because every single week there's a narrative. Oh, what about this? And, of course, the big ones are the Texans and the Falcons and, you know, just bring it. Also the Jets, of course. So just bring it. Bring it on, man. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at the 2024 uh, Vikings Revenge Game narratives. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.